For people that haven't used punch and roll, maybe they're still using uh, the finger snap technique every time they make a mistake. They're having to go back and edit out all their mistakes after they record something raw. Put simply, why can punch and roll change your life over time once you learn it? Well, here's the funny thing. Once people learn it, they don't go back. So after watching hundreds and hundreds of people transition, uh, they end up with higher quality audio and less work. And those two combined mean, I don't know, you can, they can, everybody could go back, but they don't. And the one common thing I hear over and over again is, ah, if I had known, I would have done this earlier. So it, it still comes down to two things. I don't want to waste time. Time to market is one of the most important things in this business for people that stay. And after watching thousands of people actually join and start doing narration or start doing voiceover, I've seen thousands fail or go do something else. That isn't necessarily a failure, but it's they go do something else. And it almost always comes down to the same thing. The only reason anyone would ever quit this business from my point of view is because they're not earning enough return on the amount of effort it takes to put something out there. I mean, if I'm making money and I don't know anyone that doesn't like voicing, what they right. don't like is they don't like the tech part of it or the all the peripheral uh, uh, stuff, yeah. to say something worse, that, that, that isn't really part of voicing and isn't part of the creative, the creative process. It's all the little stupid stuff you have to do. So punch and roll makes your life easier, makes your audio better. And that ends up being something that that allows people to get things done quicker. And so they can make enough money and then they stay and keep doing it.